In this video, we'll be using the laws of logarithms to solve equations. Our first law of logarithms says that the log of a product is equal to the sum of the logs. This law is developed using our rules of exponents. If you can remember that when you have two exponentials and you're multiplying them together, you always add those exponents. So this is x to the seventh. Um, that applies in this case, since logarithms are just exponents. So the log of a product, when you're multiplying the, the uh, factors in the argument, then you can rewrite that as the sum of uh, the logs of the individual factors. Um, the second law of logarithms says that the log of a quotient is equal to the difference of the logs. And we can uh, get that from if we have x to the fifth power divided by x squared, we know that that's x to the third, which is the difference of these exponents. So the uh, log of a, an argument, which is a quotient, it can be rewritten as the difference of the log of the numerator and the log of the denominator. And then the third law of logarithms, um, we're told that we have a base raised to a power as our argument of the log. And the rule just says basically that I can take this exponent and put him out in front and multiplying by the logarithm. So it's r times the log of m base b. Now let's do a few equations. Our first one, we have the log base a of 4 plus the log base a of 6 is equal to the log base a of the quantity x plus 4. Now we can see on the left side here that we have the sum of two logarithms, and that can be applied to this law, which we can use in reverse. If we have two logarithms added together, we can write that as the log of the product of those arguments. So this left side can be rewritten as the log of the product, so 4 times 6. And then I'll just leave this right side alone for now. Now, whenever you have an equation and the pieces are the same, or they look the same here, we have a log and a log, base A and base A, then the 4 times 6 can be set equal to the x plus 4. So I'm going to write that then just as 24 is equal to x plus 4. Subtract 4 from both sides, and we can see then that x is equal to 20. Now it's important when you're solving uh, logarithmic equations that if you have a variable in the argument, make sure that that will not cause the argument to be negative. You cannot have a negative argument, or in fact, you can't have a zero argument. So you need to make sure that the argument is positive. But in this case, 20 plus 4 is 24, and that's fine. Do another one. On this one, the left side is the difference of logarithms. And we know from the second rule that the difference of logarithms can be written as the log of a quotient. So I'm going to use that rule. The left side then can be rewritten as the log base 4 of the quotient x plus 6 divided by x minus 1. And then I'll just copy the right side. And again, since I have an equation here, um, I have logs on both sides and a base 4 on both sides. Since those are exactly the same, I can set the arguments equal to each other. So I can write x plus 6 divided by x minus 1 is equal to 5. Right. Solving this equation, I'll multiply both sides by x minus 1. 
these will cancel. And now I have x plus 6 is equal to, let's distribute, 5 times x is 5x. And then 5 times negative 1 is negative 5. I'll subtract x from both sides. These will cancel. And let's add 5 to both sides. And these will cancel. So on the left side, I have 11. And on the right side, I have 4x. Divide both sides by 4. So this gives me uh, x is equal to 11 fourths. And again, let's check and make sure the only place that I have to worry about really is this argument. But if I subtract 1 from 11 fourths, I'll still have a positive number, so I'm good. Another one. On this one, I have a number multiplied by a logarithm, and I know from this third rule that if I have a number multiplied by a logarithm, I can write that factor as an exponent on the argument. So let's bring this number up as a power right here on the argument. And so I can rewrite this problem as the log base b of x to the third power is equal to the log base b of 8. And since I have a, an equation, I have logs on both sides, and they're both a base of b, so then I can set the arguments equal to each other. So x cubed is equal to 8. To get rid of this cube, I need to cube root. So I'm going to cube root both sides. And these cancel each other off. And I get x is equal to, and the cube root of 8 is 2. One more. And again, I have on the right side, I have a number multiplied by a logarithm. So I can take this as the exponent on my argument. And I can rewrite this as the log base 12 of x is equal to the log base 12 of 64 raised to the 2 thirds power. And again, I have logs on both sides, and they're both base 12, so I can set these arguments equal to each other. So x is equal to 64 raised to the 2 thirds power. Now, if you're going to do this without a calculator, I think the easiest thing would be to cube root the 64 first. The cube root of 64 is 4, and you can check yourself. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 4 is 64. And then raise that to the second power. So 4 to the second power is 16. So we get x is equal to 16.